Hey GED students, it's GED question of the daytime and we've got a weird little question here. It says what is the quotient of 2 divided by 5? Now quotient does mean um, a, a division expression or an answer when you divide so no new information there since it tells us 2 divided by 5 but I want you to be really careful. Um, a lot of students do this problem wrong because they switch the order. Order matters in division. A divided by symbol is this symbol right here. Divided by, that's one way we could write it. So we could write this as 2 divided by 5. Or similarly, you can also use a fraction bar to mean divided by. And so again, going in order, we would say 2 divided by 5. Two different uh, ways to handle this problem. And they'll give us... Um, different answers, well it's the same answer, they're equivalent but in different forms. Um, so, and if I look at this problem there is one possible answer to this. What is the quotient of 2 divided by 5? Well just 2 over 5. The fraction 2 fifths is a reduced fraction, it's a perfectly legit answer. You could stop right there. This is a dynamite perfect fine answer. But what if on the GED it wasn't in fraction form? What if you saw this and all the answers were multiple choice decimal? We can also talk about pieces and parts of numbers as decimals. I need you to be really careful when going to do this problem by hand on the GED. Let's remember that when you have a divided by symbol, the first thing the first number you see, 2 in this case, is the total. So what this problem is saying is it would like me to take two things and divide it into five pieces. And you say, Kate, that's not possible. Um, and students tell me that all the time. It's not possible to take two things and divide into five pieces. And I absolutely disagree with you. You sure could. You just have to start slicing things into pieces. So that's how we end up with fractions or decimals. We end up with pieces and parts when we want to take something small and divide it into many pieces. Okay, so when you go to put this though in a long division house, it is super duper important that you flip the order. Because long division house says divided into, you don't uh, keep it in the same order. Two divided by five is the same as trying to put five into two. And once again, students get really confused with that because they say, Kate, that's impossible. No, it's not. You're just going to end up with pieces and parts. Watch what I mean. So it would appear that 5 is not big enough to go into 2. So what we need here is we need more digits. Now, the really nice thing in math is any number can have, as, can have more digits. Basically, the idea here is that as long as you lock down the value of 2, so I'm going to put a decimal place right there so I know that that's a whole number 2 then you can plop down a zero. So what am I saying here? I'm saying I have two and zero tenths. Yeah, I know I didn't have any tenths, but now I have enough digits to divide. You just kind of ignore the decimal when you divide and you say, how many times does five go into 20? Well, five goes into 24 times. Notice that I line up the four with my back number and the division. Now, of course, uh, 5 times 4 is 20, and so I have no remainder left, so I'm done dividing. But be really, really careful. That's why we needed the decimal place. I joke around that decimals are holy. They float straight up. So I see that decimal come up, and 5 goes into 20 how many times? 0.4 times, 0 0.4 times. So I could have the same answer in decimal form. Now, if you had this on your GED, you would not have your TI-30 excess on you. It would be a computation problem in the first five where you didn't have your calculator. But for those of you who just are really struggling um, with this concept, you can show, you can do it in your calculator and press 2 divided by 5, and you will indeed confirm that it is 0 0.4. All right, if you have any questions about this or any other GED math concept, be sure to drop it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it.